We're now going to have a look at differentiation, but in a more practical context. So the question says, a solid glass cylinder, which is used in an expensive laser amplifier, has a volume of 75 pi centimetres cubed. I'm just going to highlight that bit of information because it's probably going to be useful later. So right, it says the cost of polishing the surface area of this glass cylinder is £2 per centimetre squared for curved surface area and £3 for, uh, per centimetre squared for the circular top and base areas. Given that the radius of the cylinder is R, show that the cost of the polishing, £C, is given by that formula there. Well, let's first of all draw the situation. So just a rough diagram of a cylinder. So it's told us that the radius is R. And here, we've got the height. So it's told us that the cylinder has a volume of 75 pi centimetres cubed. Let's write that in maths. So this is part A we're doing now. So we're told that the volume is 75 pi, which is pi r squared times h. And we know that that's equal to 75 pi. So then it tells us the cost of polishing the surface area of this glass cylinder is £2 per centimetre squared for the curved surface area and £3 for the circular top and base areas. Given that the radius of the, radius of the cylinder is R centimetres, show that the cost of polishing C pounds is given by that there. Okay, so let's first of all look at the curved surface area. So, the curved area. So the curved area is equal to, well, looking back at the diagram now, the curved area is height. And when this shape's unfolded, it'll be a rectangle. And the width of the rectangle will be the circumference of this shape here. So it'll be height times 2 pi r, or 2 pi r h. So the cost of that, which is 2 pounds per centimetre squared, would be 2 pounds times 2 pi r h equals 4 pi r h. The top and the base, well the surface area is pi r squared, each of them is a circle, and there's two of them. So the cost is three pounds times that, so three times two pi r squared equals six pi r squared. So adding them together, the total cost C equals, we've got six pi r squared, plus 4 pi r h. So notice 6 pi r squared is in the formula here. But 4 pi r h isn't in the formula. Somehow this here, we've got to try and show that it's equal to 300 pi over r. Well, look back up to the picture of the cylinder. Under this, we wrote a little bit of information that pi r squared h was 75 pi, given the information we had from the question. Well, we're going to now rearrange this to find out what h equals, so that we can eliminate h from this equation here. So this implies, if pi r squared h is 75 pi, this implies that h equals 75 pi over pi r squared, equals 75 over r squared. h is 75 over r squared. So we can then say that this is equal to 6 pi r squared. But now we know that h is equal to uh, 75 over r squared. So plus 4 pi r times h, which is 75 over r squared, equals 6 pi r squared. And 4 times 75 is 300, so plus 300 pi r over r squared equals 6 pi r squared. Do a little bit of cancelling. One of those r's cancels with that r. So plus 300 pi 
over R, as we were asked to show in the question. So let's conclude C equals 6 pi R squared plus 300 pi over R. Quite a difficult question that. So part B, use calculus to find the minimum cost of polishing, given the answer to the nearest pound. So using calculus, i.e. differentiating, well first of all we can say that C in a nice differentiable form would be 6 pi r squared plus 300 pi, but not over r, we're going to rewrite over r as r to the minus 1. So differentiating that, to find the minimum we differentiate dc by dr equals, so we're differentiating the r's now, so that becomes 12 pi r to the power of 1 times by the power, which is 2, take 1 from the power, which gives us r to the 1. Okay, so now times by the power again, so that becomes minus 300 pi r to the power of minus 2. Which at a stationary point, at a minimum, equals 0. So this form of equation here is brilliant for differentiating, however it's absolutely terrible for solving equations. So it makes sense to put this back into the original form, the original fraction form, rather than having negative powers. So when we're solving, it's best to put it in an ordinary index form, not negative powers. So take 300 pi, not r the minus 2, but over r squared equals 0. And hopefully that makes it more obvious that a good thing now is to times by r squared, times everything by r squared. To get 12 pi r cubed minus 300 pi equals 0. And if I divide everything by pi, they disappear. Which means that 12 r cubed minus 300 equals 0. Or 12 r cubed equals 300. So dividing by 12 now. So 300 divided by 12 equals 25. So r cubed equals 25 which means that r equals the cube root of 25. And then substituting it back into the formula for cost, which we have here, we get that the total cost of polishing is 6 pi times the cube root of 25 squared plus 300 pi cube root of 25 to the minus 1, approximately equal to, so let's put that in the calculator, so 6 pi, and then we've got the cube root of 25 squared, plus 300 pi, times the cube root of 25, the power of minus 1, approximately equal to 483.48, or to three significant figures, actually check in the question, given your answer to the nearest pound in fact, the nearest pound it is 483 pounds, so approximately equal to 483 pounds. Now revisiting the question, it said justify that the answer you've just obtained in part B is a minimum. So to do that, to justify something's a minimum, we need to find the second differential. So we've got the first differential here. Now we're going to find the second differential. So D2C by DR squared equals... Well, differentiating 12 pi r just gives us 12 pi. 
and then the next one times by the power so minus 300 times minus 2 is plus 600 pi r to the minus 3 take 1 from the power equals so we're going to sub in the value for r 12 pi plus 600 pi cube root of 25 to the minus 3. Now clearly this is going to be positive. However, we do actually need to get the mark, to guarantee getting the marks, to actually come up with an answer. So 12 pi plus 600 pi times the cube root of 25. power of minus 3, which is equal to 36 pi. 36 pi, which is greater than 0. Really important that you write greater than 0, therefore a minimum. And there's all of the marks gained. So there's the full answer. Quite a lengthy question, that one. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.